Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get more followers on Instagram in 2019 so that you can go from having nothing to having thousands of followers fast. Coming up. Hey guys, my name is Dan and I am an influencer YouTuber, do videos on mental health, but I also run an Instagram page and I managed to get my Instagram from nothing to almost 13,000 within five months. And I can show you exactly how to do this because the stuff I'm showing you in this video, I've never seen anybody use these hacks before. Hey guys, so like I, I normally do videos on the autism spectrum because I have an autism spectrum condition. I have Asperger's syndrome, OCD, ADHD, and dyslexia. But one of the things is that I have this obsessive interest with certain topics, right? And obsessive interest is where you hyper-focus on something and you really get down to the nitty gritty and you really get like into it. Now, for me doing this, I've been able to actually focus in on algorithm strategies on YouTube and Instagram specifically and look at how we can manipulate the algorithm to make more sense of it and actually grow our accounts on, on followers and on subscribers. So this is super, super cool. This is what I do. So this is why I made this video. So let's jump into it right now. Okay, so before we get started, please leave me a comment. Let me know where you're watching from and how you found this video in the comment section below. I'd love to open up that dialogue. I read every single comment and respond to every single one. So if you want to learn more about this stuff, just hit me up in a comment. So if you'd like to to learn more and see more videos from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button right now and hit the notification bell. And if you're watching over on Facebook, make sure to give this page a like and a follow to see daily videos from me. So Instagram is an interesting one. Instagram is the second largest platform for turning people into like celebrities and making them lots of money next to YouTube because YouTube's like the big one and then Instagram comes in a close second, a very, very close second actually. So. Instagram is very interesting, but we don't always know how to work it. A lot of people spend a lot of their time trying to find the best hashtags to use, how many to squash in there, do we put them in the comment section, do we put them into the description? But I'm telling you now, I use none of that to grow my channel, and I'm gonna share five of the best tips that I use to grow my Instagram account from like nothing to almost 14,000 followers right now, and this is the proof, I've got it right here. So, okay, so this is my Instagram account as you guys can see here. Um, and basically what I did is I managed to get mine, you can see here it's 13.7 thousand. I actually used these tricks I'm gonna tell you now that I've never seen anybody else use all about these. And actually at the end of the video, I'm gonna check in a bonus tip for you guys. So keep watching till the end and I'll tell you the bonus tip as well. So basically there's like a bunch of different videos out there. There's people telling you like, you know, how to use different hashtags and things like that. And you can also buy followers. I know a lot of people actually spend a lot of their time going to find the right gadgets and gizmos and tech companies that they're gonna buy Instagram followers. Well, there's no need to do that. I spent not a penny growing my Instagram account and it's all to do with certain things that I did, certain hacks that I know to help trigger the algorithm away that favors you. So I'm going to sh share with you the five of the best ones I use. I, these are practical. You can start using these right now today and you'll be amazed at how quickly your Instagram account actually uh, goes up in followers. Oh, increases in followers. Okay guys. Okay, so as you can see on here, what we're going to do is, is, is talk about the like-minded accounts. So if, if you like an Instagram account, say on skateboards, and you, you know, so this, this account uh, here is showing like videos of skateboards, and I go to their account, and if I click follow them, instantly Instagram drops down this suggested for you bit, right? You can see it's suggested for you bit. Well, this is like-minded accounts, and how it calculates this, right, is that it basically knows what accounts that people like because of the accounts that you follow. So what you need to do is, so I, my videos are all on Asperger's syndrome, autism, and mental health. So basically, I follow um, a, a bunch of like mental health, um, like, advocacy pages and loads of like autism pages and autism kind of Instagram accounts and what happens then is when someone follows their accounts I come up as a suggested because I am in that genre so first thing you need to do is whatever specific niche you're in so if it's photography or it's makeup or beauty or whatever it is skateboarding even go and find a bunch of accounts that are like in your niche and follow every single one of those and actually a lot of the time some of them will actually follow you back because you're in the same niche they're going to want to like hang out and do that same thing so this is a very very interesting one and I find it is very very beneficial especially for people who are trying to um, grow in a certain niche, especially if their niche is um, specific and they're growing like YouTube channels and stuff along with it. Okay, so this next one, hack number two, is a very interesting one. A lot of people don't use this uh, often at all, but I think it's a great way and it's actually helped me grow my channel a lot. So if you click on that little... Um, 
And if you click on the little magnifying glass, it actually takes you to the Discover page. And the Discover page is basically a page on Instagram that shows you stuff that you may be interested. And usually it's because you've liked certain things in your niche or in that niche, and it's showing you those things because it knows that you're in that niche. So basically, I'm really into photography, and as you can see, uh, oh, and skateboarding. So you can see a bunch of photography and skateboarding kind of posts that I've liked. So this is what I tell you to do. Every single day, go to this Discover page, click on a couple of posts, and just like write a comment like, hey, super rad, right? Write one comment on at least four posts every single day, and this will help increase your visibility on the platform. So what it means is that people looking through these will see your comment and click on your page, and they're more likely to convert into a follower just because you're actively engaging on some of the top posts performing on Instagram in that niche on that day, which is amazing. This, this, this one alone is just profound. Like It actually helps increase a lot more engagement. I actually particularly like this one, and it's definitely one of my favorite um, hacks to use, especially if, like, you know, if you're sitting in a car or on a bus or you're on your way to work or something, just quickly just hop on and just tap away and then just start writing some comments out. It's really simple. You don't have to do anything crazy. Just make it nice, simple, awesome. Okay, guys, this is, okay, so hack number three, right? This is an interesting one. This is post more videos or just post videos. I can't tell you how important this is. If you just scroll down my page, you'll notice that I actually do post a lot of videos. And uh, this section here, as you can see, there's a ton of videos on this one, okay? And the videos get like a lot of a lot more attention than a post. So if we check out a post in the same one, so the post, say, got 400 likes there, but a video posted at the same time got over 1,000 likes because videos do better on Instagram. And I've noticed that if I upload one video at least a day on my Instagram account, it grows way faster because the algorithm is wanting people to watch more video on Instagram. Because video is like the new big platform, videos are always going to be king on platforms when they're trying to do something that is, um, uh, you know, competing with stuff like YouTube or you competing with stuff like Facebook. When this platform is competing, it's competing in those areas and it wants more videos. So my advice is to create more videos on the platform and then just post those videos. Because by posting videos, you're giving yourself um, more discoverability, more likability. People are gonna see more of you and there's gonna be way more tangible. They're gonna see a moving image rather than just a static picture of you and your sunglasses on the beach or whatever. And it's good because it's super impressive as well. The more impressions that your videos get because people tend to want to watch videos rather than just look at pictures on Instagram. I know that sounds weird since it's primarily a photo uh, app platform, but people watch videos and when they're watching it, there's more people watching it. So you're, more of your fans are basically watching your videos or more of the people who are already on your page will watch your video. And you can do it as a test right now. You can post a video on your Instagram page and it will be, and if you've never done it before, it will be the most liked viewed thing that you put on your Instagram. So what I would say is that put a video out because when when that count goes up, like when the view count goes up, the algorithm kicks in and says, hey, this post has a lot of attention. We should put this further up the discovery pages and that is how you kind of get discovered a little bit more by using videos. Now, one thing I will say is that yes, use hashtags, but what I'm trying to say in this video is that I'm not relying on hashtags to get me discovered because that's not how I did it. Because with hashtags, there's a lot more uh, in-depth kind of like uh, calculated kind of ways to, to grow with hashtags, but that's very old school now. And a lot of people don't really put more than four hashtags on an Instagram post where you have a um, you know, maximum limit like 25 to 30. So yes, use hashtags. So you will show up in a hashtag search volume for whichever tag you put on your video, but it's not the tag that's getting you discovered. It's the volume of people going and clicking on that video and watching that video for that length of time that's going to help you increase engagement. And that's what it's all about. This is about engagement. Okay, so hack number four. This is a really, really good one. So with most things, um, you know, people are compelled to want to engage and the Instagram algorithm is built on engagement signals. These are called user, user engagement signals and a user engagement signal is when somebody likes your post, shares it or comments on your post. The algorithm likes this because it shows them that they know that your post is worth promoting because more people are going to see it, more people will be on the platform, and they win because that's evidently what they want. So if you look at the post that I've put up here now, there's a picture of me here in the Excel in London um, when I was doing a talk at Summer in the City in 2019. Now, as you can see, it's had like 834 likes, but look at this. There's over 90 comments just on this one post, okay? And it's because I said, can I get a yes if you agree, right? Super interesting. Let's check out another post. This is another great way uh, to, to fuel engagement. Check this one out, okay? This autism is not a label, it's a key to the door. So if I, if I expand this, right, you can see the post. All I say is comment heck yes if you get this. 
and this had no hashtags as you just saw and it's got over 212 comments and 1134 likes right this was a very good post because all i did is i asked somebody to say something and if you tell people what to say they're going to be more compelled to actually go and do it so like if you said to somebody hey um what do you think about this this post they're not going to be compelled to go and write an essay about what they think about your post but if you say to them hey do you like a or b you know do you like snickers or mars bars they're going to go well, they're going to tell you which one. You've already given them an answer. All they've got to do is pick one. So when I say to them, hey, um, can you comment? Heck yes. The people are more compelled to say yeah. And it's good because you want to have a bit of fun with your audience and comment back to them and stuff and have fun. But you also want them to engage with that post. That's exactly the way to do it. So having a question in a post is way more beneficial for um, user engagement than anything else. And I can't stress how important that is. So that is hack number four. Okay, guys. So hack number five is Instagram stories. And you know, what about Instagram stories? Well, I'm telling you to use Instagram stories. Now, when Instagram launched stories, it was actually competing with Snapchat. And it, the whole idea of disposable content was thought to be a bit of a fad when Snapchat came out with it. But then Instagram did it. And a lot more people started using that kind of feature and that feature became way popular but one of the things that it's always doing is it's always competing with every other app that has stories so you can actually use hashtags in stories you can use mentions in stories now and one of the interesting things is that when you like you can look put locations in on stories and when you do those things when you actually add locations hashtags and ads on a story you engage with other people who are not already following your account but maybe looking through stories and that story will come up because they're looking through hashtags when people are searching through hashtags on stories uh, your videos will come up same as if people are looking for locations like you know uh, the canary islands or whatever and then you've been on holiday there and you did a uh, you know you did a stories and you put a geo tag on there that you were in that location people are going to pick up on that and see it if you add location to your Instagram stories, you're way more likely to increase, actually double your audience view on that stories. Go ahead and try it right now. You know, put a story up and actually tag your location and more people will actually see it because you've got to think about this as well. If you just put a stories out on Instagram, right? Okay, your current audience, if you've only got like 100 followers, they're the only ones who are potentially going to see it. So you might get 50 to 70 people watching it. But if you tag the location in there where you like London, Victoria, and then there's those people passing through London, Victoria, and they check on Instagram what's in this area, they're going to see your post. And actually, if it's a fun post and if they think you're cool, they might actually give you a follow. So that's very much an um, insider, super, super beneficial hack to use the app, the hashtag, and the location feature in the Instagram stories um page display creator that is very 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 useful okay guys so i said at the end of the video i was going to give you a bonus tip so this is my bonus tip okay optimize your bio and let's talk about that so in your bio right you can see mine here right now it says uh, you know i'm a video creator and it says autistic youtuber and author from the uk creating autism videos weekly 100,000 subscribers on youtube email, uh, you know, my email address, and then uh, click here for my latest video. What this does is it tells the person who first comes to my page exactly what they're going to get from me. It says creating autism videos weekly, which means that they know that every week they're going to get at least a couple of videos on autism on my page. So if they're, so if they're a, like a mum or a dad and they're looking for information on autism, they're going to come to my page and say, hey, this guy's talking about autism. I'm going to give him a follow. So make sure you highly optimize that small bio section, right? And this is a... Um, a no-brainer, an obvious one, if you will, but, but a lot of people actually leave this out. You know, people kind of don't put these in because they feel like it's not worthy. It's going to put, you know, 16, uh, you know, high school sucks and, uh, you know, London or whatever. They don't actually realize that if you put something interesting in there that pe to give people a reason to follow you, you know, that's what, that's what it's for. It's to make people see it and say, oh, I know exactly what this person's about. I'm going to give them a follow. Guys, if you liked this video and you'd like to see a part two where I go to more in depth and five more hacks on this, then please give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment saying, yes, Dan, we want to see another video on Instagram hacks and tricks because I want to, you know, grow my Instagram to like a huge one just like yours. And then I will do that video. Super awesome, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>